Hey, look at this, guys. What's it going to do to this camera? I think this snake thinks the camera's food. What is going on? Let's just have a look. Oh, look at that. Oh, pillowcases in my yard can only mean one, or in this case, two things, because there's two pillowcases. Uh, we're going to be talking about snakes today. I think you guys will enjoy this. Uh, I hope uh, we make it without a scratch, because we're going to be talking about personalities of snakes, and I've got two snakes of the same species with two distinct personalities. So we're gonna mess around with those guys, learn a little bit about them. I'll get right to them in just a moment. But first, I wanted to shout out our friends at Audible. Audible has once again partnered with us here at Camp Cannon. Uh, they are committed to seeing this channel grow and we are really appreciative of their support. Now you guys know I love education. You know I like to be entertained. Well, Audible has got you covered. If you're driving, if you're stuck in traffic, if you're working around the yard like I do, just get yourself a Bluetooth speaker and you can listen to uh, an audio book. So it is a fantastic uh, opportunity and I want you guys to hear about this deal. If you go to audible.com slash Camp Kennan or text Camp Kennan to 500, 500, you'll be able to sign up for a free 30 day trial. And with that free trial, you'll get one free audiobook plus two Audible Originals. They are exclusive content only found on Audible. And that is by some of the most famous entertainers and authors and journalists out there. So you are really getting a great deal. All right, so head on over to audible.com slash Camp Cannon or text Camp Cannon to 500 500 to start your free 30 day trial, free audiobook plus two originals, two Audible originals. Now, recently I discovered a book called Reptiles, go figure. Usually you may think it's only just entertainment or fiction, but there's a lot of nonfiction works there as well. And I found this book, Reptiles by T.S. Kemp. Really, really cool book. It's an introductory uh, book to reptiles, but what I found is it's brand new, came out in February of this year, and it's got so much up to date and current information about reptiles. It even goes into the different clades and how they group reptiles, which I love. A lot of cool facts, things I didn't even know, and it's always important to update your information, okay? So get on over to audible.com slash Camp Cannon or text Camp Cannon to 500 500 to begin your journey to knowledge. Yeah, very cool. All right, Audible, thanks guys. Let's get to it. We've got some interesting things happening right here. And uh, what we basically have are a couple of snakes. Now, both these snakes came to me from Bush Wildlife. Okay, so these are rescues. These snakes here are rescues and um, they are really interesting species. I love them, I'm sure you guys will as well. And basically guys and girls and everybody out there in the army, we're talking about a species. Let's see if we can get you guys situated and uh, let's open this up so that you can see what I'm talking about. Now this particular animal was someone's pet that was surrendered uh, and you'll see the difference. Really, really beautiful snake. Oh, hello, there's his little face. And this is Colombian red-tailed boa, okay? Beautiful, beautiful snake. Uh, I love boa constrictors. And you can see this one in particular has just such a great demeanor. Um, of course, I'm coming in over the top, something you don't necessarily want to do, uh, but it is a great snake. Now, one of the moments of my life, one of the greatest moments of my life was when Tom and I went to Costa Rica and I found one of these boas in the wild. Oh my God, I can't believe I got my hands on a boa. Oh, woo! All right, look at this, everybody. Oh. Such a beautiful snake, such an exciting time for me to see that animal. Um, just coming across a snake that is common in the pet trade uh, in the wild is just, it's incredible. And you guys also know that I keep hog island boas and the hog islands are a muted variant of the red tail. Um, this snake here has the nominant coloration. Really, really beautiful animal. You can see that iridescence off this animal. Nice red tail. Um, just a beautiful shimmering. And uh, I love it. This animal in the wild, if a female, if it is a female, depending on the locality, can grow up to 12 foot long. Uh, big, big snake. Give birth to live young. 
And you can see this animal's very docile. Just a really pretty snake, really calm demeanor. And that is probably indicative of the fact that this was someone's pet. And the gentleman who surrendered the animal really hated to do it, but unfortunately unforeseen circumstances lend him to getting that animal out to bush wildlife. Um, so they called me up. It was such a beautiful animal. I didn't want this animal to disappear uh, or not go to a good home. So I'm taking it right now. We're just kind of watching it and keeping it all kind of happy and healthy. Oh, what a beauty, huh? What a beauty you are. And so you can really see that this animal is very calm, very cool, very collected. Uh, not a bad job there, kid. I love the way they move. And that coloration is perfect for hiding in foliage in tropical vegetation. Now these guys do have a very large range going from Mexico all the way into South America, uh, into parts of Argentina where there are actually different um, localities and color variations. Uh, the Argentinian boa is actually just an incredibly beautiful animal. My friend Savvy actually has one, Savvy Surratt. Uh, really, really beautiful snake and uh, something that I enjoy uh, kind of working with from time to time, but uh, really, really nice snakes. So this animal, of course, is a constrictor. What makes it different than a python is the fact that this particular snake, the boa, it has live young. So she'll have a litter of babies where the eggs stay inside and never get a shell. They instead just have an amniotic sac. And uh, once the animals are done developing, they will then be expelled by the mother through her cloaca, and she will, of course, not take care of them after they are, uh, are birds. They just kind of break out of their egg sacs with their egg teeth, and uh, tooth rather, and they just head on out into the wide world where it's filled uh, with danger. But in the wild, these guys are gonna eat small rodents, reptiles, birds, they'll eat coatis uh, once they get to a larger size, monkeys, uh, all kinds of sloth, they'll eat sloths. They're just basic, oh look, she wants to hide. Immediately, uh, true to a snake, she wants to go right to an area where she can hide. So, uh, really, really pretty snake. Let's get to the next one, which is also a pretty snake, but a little bit different, and it's gonna be a little bit more, oh, maybe intense for us. I'm gonna put this down right here, and uh, we'll get this beauty back in the, get it back in this pillowcase. And the next animal, once I get this one back in, has a bit of a different story. Oh, <laughs> I love snakes. They're just so spindly. I guess that's why they call them danger noodles. I don't know. I love them though. So let's go ahead, get this tied off. It's easier if I just do that. All right, we'll get this, this guy back in the shade, made in the shade. Okay, for my next trick, I might need this at some point. I like to play it safe, people. All right, so this next one is gonna be different, um, unless it makes a complete liar out of me. I don't know, let's see. So this is, of course, another boa. A little bit darker, um, as we'll see. And uh, darker in all ways. <laughs> Has a darker disposition as well. So let's see. This particular sneaky poo. There you go. Still a pretty snake, um, really, really beautiful snake, but I want to try and work with it because it's going to be hard to find this guy a new home if he's not in a good mood. Now, right now, I got to tell you, snake's uh, behaving. This snake was found, uh, it was taken by Bush Wildlife, but it was actually found uh, wrapped around a mailbox in Jupiter, Florida. So that's pretty crazy, don't you think? actually wrapped around a mailbox uh, and when I got it it had just eaten something possibly a rodent I don't know but this guy right here is a cool snake beautiful they, again really nice a little bit smaller than the first one we looked at but darker some nice iridescence coming off the skin the animal has just shed right now I'm keeping them in the snake room in some vision cages and uh, let's just let this animal walk around now Right now, the snake is actually really not doing anything of note, and I'm happy. Maybe it's calming down. 
I don't know. That could all change when I try and pick the snake up to put it back into uh, the good old fashioned pillowcase. But uh, it is, this is defensive position. You can kind of see it's essing up and backing away from me. So it is a little bit nervous, but I have to be able to handle this snake and uh, try and get it to a point to where it, I don't know, it's just calmer so that somebody would want to care for it. Now, the other thing about this snake here um, is that obviously this animal was at one point a pet. It could have escaped, could have kind of reverted uh, into a more natural, oh, there you go, you don't want to go too far over them. It could have reverted into a more natural disposition where it's actually more interested. Look at this, guys. What's going to do to this camera? I think the snake thinks the camera's food. What is going on? Let's just have a look. Here. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that was the sneakiest little thing. I think the snake thinks the camera's food. Oh my gosh, not even a hiss or anything. Just came and uh, saw that. Maybe it looked at itself. I don't know, but I got to wipe you guys off. You got snake saliva on you. Woo! My goodness. Let me scratch the lens a little bit. Uh, anyhow, as you can see, that was, I, I don't know if that was provoked or not. I wasn't moving the camera into the snake. It just kind of did its thing and uh, it will pied the camera. So uh, this GoPro is getting some good use right now. Um, let's go ahead and extend it and maybe we can see a little bit more what this animal will do. It's definitely following the camera. Wild. Up oh, there you go. Now that's normal. That's, you hear that? So now it's gotten to a point where I think it's annoyed. And uh, that's kind of a bummer, man. We really weren't poking with it or anything, but uh, you could just see the difference in personality with this animal. Was this animal in the wild longer? Uh, or the fact that this animal was in the wild, is that what made it kind of a little bit more aggressive? It had to defend itself from potential uh, predators. Another thing you should notice is check out the tail. The tail's trying to distract you by flicking. Um, not only rattlesnakes shake their tails. It's a defensive move from a lot of snakes. Sometimes they use it as a lure. The cotton mouth here in Florida, Keistradon, Pescavorius, when it's a baby has a fluorescent tail and it will actually flick the tail to lure fish over or frogs uh, and then they get a venomous bite. Now, of course, the boa constrictor is non-venomous, uh, but that being said, it still is a snake and there are many things snakes do that are typical of, you know, all different species. Uh, chief among them is the defensive hiss, which is another interesting thing. Snakes aren't necessarily the most vocal animals, okay? In fact, you know, people think they're deaf. They're not entirely deaf. They just don't hear like we do, very, very low frequencies. But I think it's interesting that snakes hiss because um, we hear, how did they know to hiss to frighten us away? They just expel all that air and it comes out that trachea and really makes a nice audible sound there. Gosh, get it? Audible? Uh, very cool. And so we're looking down the gaping maw of this critter. Just really cool stuff. Um, I like to show you guys what's going on here at the camp new additions or new residents. Most of the time these animals stay for a little while and then they move on. Um, I try and find them better homes. It's important for me. And uh, we try and get them to the right people. Um, I have a network of people that I work with and um, it's just one of my joys about keeping reptiles. There are some that are permanent residents, others come on in, I get to talk to you folks about them and then we find a nice place for them to live. Uh, but very interesting snake and now I guess guys I'm gonna go ahead and I suppose what I'll try and do is uh, set this camera up in a position that we can maybe you guys can watch me and of course I have the chesty on and we'll see just what's happening with this snake so let's get him and I'm gonna try and try and get him into this oh my gosh you're so tough I know it and no matter how many times for me um, I've done this with snakes. It's always, it's always a bit of an adrenaline rush, you know? And you can really hear her now. She's really frightened. I don't know if it's a female, by the way. I'm just guessing. But let's gently pick the snake up. We gotta be gentle and deliberate. Let's see. It's gonna bite the, uh, it's gonna bite for sure into the, 
I want to get it up over. Oh, look at that. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. All right. Whoop. And you shake it, shake it down, and then gently we twist. Oh, and put them away. All right. Well, look, little video today. Just something of a, of a new group of animals here at the camp. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's a lot of fun to work with these snakes. I'm gonna get a couple of shots of them. And uh, my gosh, how much fun. But they're back safe and sound. And uh, that's how you do it. Nice and easy, easy peasy. All right, well, there you go, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today. It's a little warm. I wanna get these snakes out of the sun. Thanks for supporting the camp, everybody. Like and subscribe. Go to patreon.com slash Camp Cannon if you'd like to support the channel and see some exclusive content you can't find anywhere else. And please do me a favor and hit the notifications button so you guys can constantly be made aware of new videos that go up. All right, I'll be seeing you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later.